David, uh, tough night all in all. Give us your, give us your assessment. Yeah, tough as you said. A frustrating result. Um, frustrating uh, last 60 minutes of the game and uh, fantastic first 30 minutes, to be fair. I think the first 30 minutes were maybe one of our best away performances so far. Um, we totally controlled and dominated the opponent. Um, super strong in the counter press, uh, good in the rest defense, played very good football, got the lead, had the chance uh, to score even more with Dimmi's chance or Ashley Barnes a clear cut chance as well and then obviously uh, the red card changed the game totally uh, we lost it and uh, this is obviously very frustrating obviously I'll tell you about that you must, have you seen it back uh, what did you think in real time and, and what's your overall assessment of the incident yeah I've seen it back but to be fair um, I don't really like to give any comments uh, I think I like to leave it with the guys who uh, make the decisions uh, and it looks like that we maybe appeal it and then um, obviously this speaks for itself. Um, I yeah, I know that sometimes uh, the angle and the vision on the pitch uh, from a referee could be uh, different and then you see it in, in your way and then sometimes the decision is not um, um, yeah, the, the right one if it makes sense. Um, but at the end of the day, um, he gave the red card because he has seen something and um, obviously we have to see then um, if we will appeal it and hopefully then we were uh, successful with, with it because obviously we are very short in numbers anyway in the wide position Borja is and will always be one of ours um, and uh, we will see we had a similar situation last season with Marquinhos uh, where he got a red card we appealed it and um, we were successful with it, uh, but I like to leave this with the guys in, in, in my football club to make this decision. Uh, understood. Uh, would I be right just to clarify though? I mean, as it stands, you would miss four games because of the sending off against West Brom. This is what I heard as well, yes. Yeah. Have you had a, just oh, one more and then we'll move off this one? Have you, has Borja said anything to you? Have you asked for his view of the, the incident? No, but I think uh, everybody who knows him um, knows that this is uh, something which. He, he will not do on purpose and uh, if you see the the video footage um, there's always a question is there active movement or it only happens because of the dynamic of of the situation and uh, this is I think um, what uh, yeah the one or other have to decide then uh, but not me as you say then I mean that's, that's a more or less an hour plus stoppage time with 10 men and I guess in, in that context you just want to get to half time don't you but unfortunately you know the they scored two goals and then it's, it's an uphill challenge from them. Yeah, um, yeah the, the goals which we conceded, to be totally honest, um, are very frustrating because these were exactly uh, situations where we were super good prepared for, where we uh, in this short turnaround worked on and unfortunately we were not able to avoid it even if this were exactly the situations which we expected. But listen, uh, for me, and this counts, to be fair, for my whole group. Um, I can totally easy put this uh, game to bed. Totally easy. Uh, will affect zero percentage uh, myself, and I have to make sure that uh, it will not zero percentage affect uh, my team as well. Because um, if you take the first half an hour, and uh, this is what you have to judge, uh, you've seen how good the form of the guys is, how confident they are, how, how, how proper they play football and this is where the focus is on. Uh, anything else, what happens afterwards, irrelevant, doesn't count for me. The result hurts, yes, but now it's all about uh, to recover, focus on the good things which we have seen tonight and uh, make sure on Saturday at home against Rotherham we are fully on it, uh, make sure we can extend our home record. Uh, to six in a row and for this we have to be on our very best and we have to recover and we have to have the clear mindset uh, to judge this uh, evening today right and uh, this is uh, now my job to do uh, and to make the players uh, know as well uh, what is important after this game today. Just a couple more if I can on this game. Um, Grant Hanley, has he, has he done anything there? Uh, looked like he wasn't able to yeah, he got a knock on his uh, Achilles uh, ankle and um, Obviously, a heavy one, and uh, he had pain, and uh, we're not able to continue. I don't think it's super serious, but obviously very, very painful. We have to see how quick he can recover. Anyone else after today's game uh, looks fine. Just to clarify, because it was the Achilles at Blackburn, is it? Is it the same yeah. area? Yeah, yeah. same leg. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then just final one from me. 
one positive, well, one positive in terms of the second half there, young Finley Welsh to get on and make his debut. I think he's a Norwich boy as well, come through the academy. It's on a personal level for him, lovely. Yeah, obviously he was uh, quite a few times now involved in the matchday squad, um, worked hard uh, to get his debut. Uh, I think he totally deserved it because he always is on it, uh, works very hard, uh, can make something happen on the ball as well uh, if he shows the bravery, what he shows in training as well. And this is why he got his debut today and hopefully he keeps going and uh, this gives him a further boost. Is it, is it you, you're being very, very calm on, on the red card. Is it frustrating that before that, yes, you were playing really, really well, but you also seem to have Middlesbrough very flat, second best. It, it, it was very hard to see how they were going to get back into the game before that moment. So that must make it especially frustrating for you. Yeah, of course, yes. But listen, I know how football works. Sometimes uh, you have moments in football like this and then you have to be uh, able to respect and to accept it. Uh, we would love to get the three points and to be fair after first half an hour I think uh, there were everything on the table to, to, to get the three points and uh, we haven't got it. We know exactly why and I think this is always very, very important and now for me it's already look forward. Hopefully. Uh, get Bocha back and our appeal, if we appeal, would be successful and then we go against Rotherham and make out of this week a week where we can collect six points and if this is the case, I think then this is a week which was okay yeah. to continue and uh, to go further and this is where now my total focus is on and this is why I can be quite calm on it. And, and then just lastly, you know, I, the game clearly changes with the red card and I know you say that you know you can switch off and that you're not going to worry about a lot that happened after that. Is there a slight disappointment that for maybe the 10 minutes straight after it when Borough got their two goals, it, it did seem to just go a little bit chaotic and a little bit unstructured and a couple of mistakes and, and you know, Borough didn't necessarily have to really work really hard for those goals? Uh, no. Okay. Anybody else on tonight's game? Nope.